Welcome to Port de Luzi, a beach community right off Lake Ontario and St. Catharines. With a mixture of rustic charm and sophistication, Port is a place people go to unwind, to bask in the sun, to have carousel rides at five cents a go, enjoy the water, and to be in good company. And amongst it all is Lock Street Brewing Company a hotspot on the Niagara Ale Trail that focuses on time as much as they focus on making great beers. Time for you to spend with their ample board games, a variety of events, and luscious beer garden. It's here you come to appreciate what craft beer is all about, the people you drink it with. Just trying to help, Drew. I'll take the help. Nick? Such a gentleman. Oh. Oh. Oh! Still going. I'm gonna need another coffee. Mm. Mm. That's much better. It's like the champagne of coffees. It's actually the beer of coffees, Nick. These nitro cold brews are brewed and kegged at the Junction Brewery in Toronto. Woo! Beer and coffee. You've just described my grandmother's breath. Gentlemen, where, where's my coffee? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Listen, I'll be right back. It's unacceptable! Uh, doesn't matter. Ah, cheers. My name is Wolfgang Gimbel. I'm the founder of Lock Street Marine Company, and we are in the old uh, Wellington Hotel. The goal is to have this cool spread of stores. We wanted to have a high-end coffee shop, bakery or bistro, and then something related to Ontario wine or craft beer. So Jake, thanks for joining us. Hello. Jake here, he's the big BM, <laughs> the brewmaster. You just made a cool thing sound Pretty uncool. Cool. It's probably the worst way to say it. It's yeah. what I do. But Jake, this is your handiwork here. It is, man. What we have here is uh, five of our beers from at least to most bitter. Our first beer here is uh, our Jealous Mistress, it's an oh, English yeah. brown ale. Well, you actually make this one with a honey from a local distributor. So it has a really nice kind of meaty ice wine-like quality, which is pretty indicative to the Niagara region. I know we're going at least to most beer, yeah. but this still has got a little bit of a... It does have a little it. bit of a noticeable hop bite. The traditional Euro-style beers play a lot on the hops that are grown in their regions. So mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that this still had that English style flavor to it. To bees. To bees. <laughs> or not to bees. That is the question. Oh my. I enjoy genres of beer that are pure. And many European beers are as natural as possible. And most beer people know about the German purity law and this idea of making beer with just four ingredients. So if you're really, really great at what you do, you can make a great tasting pure substance without having to throw extra things in it. So we call this our carousel red ale. It's actually a little bit closer to a scotch ale, which is a traditional Scottish or Irish style ale. So it's gonna have a little bit more of a, a robust flavor to it. I'm actually not a scotch drinker at all, but I do find that the scotch flavor here is not overpowering. Usually when I hear of like a red ale, I don't really have high expectation with the yeah. reds, reds, with the kids reds, but this has like a ton of personality. I love that you brought that scotch ale yeah. into it. I'm assuming that this was named after that yeah. carousel in Port Luzia. Yeah, it was only fitting that we name something after the second oldest object in Port Luzi. So a yeah. uh, carousel ale kind of ran really nicely. Port Luzi is the ultimate place for families and for you to spend time. You can relax, you can see the waterfront, you can be on the beach, you can see historic buildings, you can do any number of outdoor activities here in Port Luzi. So our names and our branding all tie into those elements of enjoying time with those people that are, you know, like I said, most important to you. So traditionally, the Munich style Rattler would be grapefruit, orange, and lemon. And this month, we are landing on the Pine of Pale Ale. It is pineapple juice mixed with uh, some IPA. The pun is very important in craft yes. beer. Yeah. This thing drinks like juice. Yeah. We actually work with a small batch uh, juice company, downtown St. Paul Street, and mm. they make all of our juice for us. It's literally just whole blended pineapple. And I think this is a dangerous uh, It is, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. I took two sips, it's all right. <laughs> uh, what's the percentage on this That's guy? It's actually sitting around three, three okay. five. Perfect. Being a Rattler, yeah. yeah. Being okay. a Rattler, you want it to be a little bit less. Yeah. Uh, the ratio is, is a secret. 
and uh, I, I'll have to kill you if I tell you. Oh, wow. You oh, know. Hey. Just, just tell him. <laughs> I mean, just tell, you know, tell Chris. Yeah. Ideally, Lock Street is a space for everybody. I believe that we're not as much in the beer business as we are in the time business, at least as we are here at 15 Lock Street. We've got a, a beautiful tasting room on the main floor. Upstairs, we have a lounge where the art gallery is and an outdoor balcony patio that overlooks the street side. We've got this great 80-person beer garden. We've used the long tables, just like in traditional European beer gardens. Every space has a totally different feeling, so it depends on your mood or who you're with or what you're up to. So this next one here is our Pilsner, uh, working for a guy like uh, Wolfgang. It was kind of indicative that at some point I make some kind of German lager. So this is super clean, crisp. It has that noticeable earthy, spicy tone to, to the hop. I have a soft spot for Pilsners because my grandpa Joe, he grew up a block away from the brewery that originated the Pilsner. So he was oh, yeah. had this huge, huge love for him. And so my dad and I, we still always, if we see a new Pilsner, we, we have to grab it. And yeah, this is absolutely. phenomenal. Well, that's that whole thing about like craft beer being more than about just drinking something, right? It's, there's yeah. that community. Yeah. Usually you're hanging out with people, you're enjoying it together. And uh, usually. that's where memories are. Yeah, usually. <laughs> if do it when doing it right. Yeah. And you're creating memories, not mm. just trying to forget them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to Grandpa Joe. Cheers to Grandpa Joe. <laughs> A great craft beer is a lot like an adventure. It's exciting, it's best done with friends, and at the end of it, you're ready for the next one. Plan your next beer adventure at niagaraaletrail.com. You'll actually notice that this IPA isn't as hop forward as a, a lot of the other IPAs. I kind of wanted to stay away from that trend of making the biggest, baddest, hoppiest, most in your face IPA and just try to make now what we call session IPAs, which are becoming very, very popular. Yep. Normally with IPAs, you have like one pint, you kind of feel full. And you yeah. get that bitterness right away usually. Yeah. It's just like a smooth yep. start. <laughs> the biggest problem I have is it just adds to the dad bod. In the <laughs> so oh, this you do is... not need to add to your dad bod. Totally. Okay. So I thank you for giving yeah. me an IPA that yeah. is a little bit easier on the old love kids. <laughs> Absolutely. It just means you have more love to give. That's right. Beyond the beer, what does Lock Street offer people? So we do trivia every once in a while. We also have an art gallery upstairs where local artists get to showcase uh, their art every month. And then tonight, we actually have pints and poses where you do a little bit of yoga and have some beer. Yeah, that's one way to get me to exercise. I've got my yoga stuff here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, uh, we're not really dressed for it as you can see, but... Uh, Speak yeah. for yourself. Take a look at this flex denim. See this? I can do the deepest of squats, buddy. <laughs> deepest of squats. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Lock Street Microbrewery Beer Garden for yoga. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Take a nice deep inhale. Forward folding as we exhale. Coming up as you inhale into flat back. Step the left foot back, right foot back, and let's push into our downward facing dog. Good grounding. One last time, inhale up. And then exhale that knee to chest. Keep your hands at your chest for more stability. And if you want more of a challenge, Sorry. inhale the hands forward, flexing the foot. Pivot the back foot flat, and then bring your weight into the legs and inhale up into warrior one. Exhale the hands opening up into warrior two. And then pivot on that back foot as you rotate coming into our full lunge. Bring your hands into heart center. Hands back down to your mat. Step the left foot back, the right foot back, coming into your plank, and push back into your child's pose. Taking a moment here to reconnect with your breath. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, Jake. I figured we could preserve some of our energy for our paddle boarding expedition we got later. Plus, when that yoga instructor told me to relax every muscle, I kind of did. Yeah, I figured that was you. You have a um, 
unique brand. Thank you very much. Don't thank me, see a doctor. Thank you for joining us outside today, practicing yoga in the beer garden. Namaste. <laughs> Is he dead? I think he's just sleeping in child's pose. Oh, let's uh, get going. We got paddle boarding. Should we put some bug spray on him or? No. Nah. No? Nice day. Beauty day. Now, I thought you said these were extra large. I kind of feel like a sausage. Yeah, no, it's the, uh, it's the craft beer, bro. I need to rethink some life decisions. Tim, tell us about Paddle Niagara. Paddle Niagara, we started uh, six years ago, offering stand-up paddleboard lessons in the Niagara area. Awesome. Stand-up paddleboard yoga, we have night tours, full moon paddles, that sort of thing. So I've never done this, right? Yeah. I'm seeing some waves. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Am I gonna fall in? Uh, I don't think you're gonna fall in. We've got very big stable boards for you. We're just gonna paddle to the outside of those little waves that are coming in, and uh, we'll go ahead, we'll try to stand up and paddle out there. Sweet. Sounds good. Awesome. So what we need to do, safety first, glad you got your life jackets on. Well done. Couple things about the equipment. Little locking mechanism that you have on the paddle shaft there. Just want to unlock that. We're going to reach all the way up. And you want a comfortable fit. So what we want to make sure we do for the paddle stroke is arms are out nice and straight. We want to plant the paddle in the water in front of us. And we're pulling ourselves to the paddle. You got to hump the paddle. When do we get to the water? Let's give her, bro. All right, let's do it. Hump the paddle, guys. Hump the paddle. Hump the paddle. Hump the paddle. Hump, hump the paddle. Whoa. Okay, okay you're headed right for me. Good night, sweet prince. A great beer is a lot like the beach. A passage to relaxation and rejuvenation. With waves of euphoria hitting our very soul. Okay, okay, who wrote this crap? The point is, we should carve time out to enjoy both. Woo! Tales from the Ale Trail is brought to you by AE Media for website development. Brand Boulevard. Active Life Essentials. Paddle Niagara and our episode sponsor, Niagara Ale Trail.